Right. Light gun shooters in Unreal Engine. So I made my little demo thing. I worked on it for ages. I got a whole bunch of people asking me how I did it. Um, it's kind of not very hard. Um, it was hard to figure out, but now I figured it out. It's quite easy. Um, so blank unreal project all I've done is just added just some cubes just they're just cubes with a gold material on it nothing crazy or anything um, first so first I'm going to show you how to do the shooting so we'll set up a camera and um, you know we'll have it spawn and you'll be able to shoot the cubes and when you shoot the cubes it will just tell you what the name of the actor you're shooting is just so you know that it's working um, maybe in the next video I might go through movement depends how quick I do this one um, so let's, let's do this first so let's make the first thing I'm gonna make is the game mode object actor so I'm just gonna just go GM1 um, I'm not I'm not actually going to do like anything in this to be honest um, I'm just doing it so in the world settings I can put it in then I'm going to make my pawn actor which pardon, pardon me I'm going to turn and call it camera pawn BP camera pawn and then I'm gonna make a player controller. BP player controller. Right. So what we want is to first go into our camera pawn. All we have to do camera add a camera in the add component section there. Yeah, I'm going to assume you know how to use Unreal Engine to at least the basics. I'm not explaining the basics. It's There's so many other people who've done it. Um, I'm specifically talking about how to make a light gun shooter little thing quick. Um, so. so we have that. So pop it in the world. Press space bar and you can do a quick boop boop. 180 degrees. So he's facing this thing. And should just bring him a bit closer. Yeah, that'll be fine. So basically what we're gonna do is when we start the game we're gonna possess this camera. And that will be our like player. And we'll be able to shoot from the camera. Shoot these two cubes. So now we've got the pawn set up. We're going to go into BP player controller. I'm gonna ignore the viewport. We don't need to worry about that. Get rid of all this. And I'm just gonna quickly just do left mouse button. You know how to make an input in Unreal Engine. You know this is just a quick for demonstration purposes. Um, so in this little section here. is where you'd put your like you know check um player state and ammo i'm not gonna do that here it's just player state is an enum ammo you know integers floats whatever you want to use for it so you're gonna check oh can we fire if you can fire this is the bit you actually want to know so i'm gonna do a little branch so if you've worked with line traces and stuff like that, you'd know that, well, essentially all we're doing is a line trace. But when you're doing a line trace from the camera, camera position, trying to figure out where it is to the mouse, it's a bit awkward. There's a really, really, really easy way to, to do this. Um, watch cursor and uh, there it is. Get hit result under cursor by channel. Look at that. Bam. That's it. That's it. Um, 
So if you worked with line trace before, you'll know that you get your break hit result thing here. I'm going to make a print string. So if it hits something, we're going to say what well, actor it hit. And if you want to do like your apply damage, that's where you do it. Right. One thing to make sure you note down is on the trace channel, it's on visibility. Um, I mean, if you know how to use the collisions and everything in Unreal Engine, you'll be able to set up your own, you know, channel and everything. You can make your own channel for enemies and stuff like that. This is just simple. I'm just going to use visibility. Um, so yeah, that's that. And now, if I save. We're going to then we need to possess this camera. So in all this I'm just gonna put none in the player controller. So I'm looking on my game mode bit on the right here. So I've just set the default pawn class to none, uh, player controller to BP player controller, and then we're going to go into the um, blueprints up here, open level blueprint. We're going to go begin play. And on begin play. I'm not sure if it's going to pop up straight now. If I untick this, we can get possess. I'm going to select the pawn. So I've got the pawn highlighted. So if I cl just click on it, it's highlighted here in the top right. If I right click, and I make sure the context sensitive button is on as I create a reference here. So now I have a reference to my little camera that's in the scene. All I'm doing is that. Target, just do player, get player controller. that's that. Now, I think I'm just going to click and there you can see Q1, Q2. Now obviously you can't see my mouse so what we'll do quickly is in the player controller. Um, I don't know if I can just do it from here. Probably not. Oh, okay. So in the right details, show mouse cursor. Just click that yes. When I go into the game, you can see, clicking that was floor two, floor, cube, cube two, and just ground floor. And if I hit this, it's nothing because it's not hitting anything. Um, so that's basically how you get your shooting. Um, how quick was that? That was pretty quick, wasn't it? Uh, you know, it'll add a particle effect because I'm I've got my star contact, contact, content stuff anyway. Um, so what I'll do is I'll add an explosion particle every time we hit something. So if I go into my player controller and let's just do it after here. So we're going to spawn a particle basically. Uh, I mean you can do this in a function, you know. What I pref like the best way to do it is to lay it out as different functions going across your screen and then you'll know exactly what each thing is doing as opposed to just spaghettiing out the the whole thing because that's mad don't do that i'm doing it because i'm doing showing you quick um, when you do it do it properly so spawn in the dark at location so if you've ever used particles before, you're gonna know what this does. Then all we're gonna do is impact normal. I want to say, <laughs> let's do explosion or destroy. That'll work. So if I hit a thing, oh, you see that? It didn't work. cool, don't worry. 
can use impact point. There you go. So if you've got your like blood effects, your gun shooting, your whatever effects, um, you can do it this way. Um, a cool way I'd suggest doing it is um, stop this is to make the hit impact hit impact point so where you hit the thing and um, set that as a variable um, and then when you have different types of objects you know you want different particle effects um, I do the spawn emitter I do that in the object itself not in the player controller and then um, yeah, that look. That's basically it for the shooting. Um, don't know where it is. It's just no, it's just a level. That's basically it for your shooting. Um, I'll make another video separately for the movement, and um, yeah, we'll go from there. So that's getting our shooting set up really quickly. Done, dusted. I hope that helped a lot. Um, I know I went through it pretty quickly, but it's not a difficult thing really. Um, I'm just going to show it again just so you can see it so you're shooting you've got your input fire you're going to probably check you know your ammo your player thing blah 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 hit result under cursor by channel make sure it's visibility or if you've made your own collision channels make sure it's set to the right one break hit result you know what this is from a line trace you're going to get your hit actor and you can apply damage to it from there and obviously for debugging purposes if you want to check what it's hit you know get your display name and print it here and then blah 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 you've hit and you can you know make that a variable and make it accessible from you know after you've applied damage spawn it kind of thing yeah that's it and i'll do movement in the next video thank you all for watching